Why don't you try and get some kip? No, how can I? Hmm. Well, I bet the lad's father slept like a log. Aaron had been festering in the cop shop all weekend if it had been left to him. Doesn't make me feel any less useless. You're not useless, lass. Oh, Aaron thinks so. Oh, you did what you could. Don't chuff all for him. I don't go blame yourself. Well, it's no use blaming anybody else, is it? And the only way I managed to stay out of his life was because I thought he'd be better off with his dad. But now... No, I've had enough of this. <sighs> We're not going to change anything. Stand in here, fretted. Yeah, well, what else can we do? Well, take the advice of Miss Julie Andrews. Daft I'll get. What are you on about? Well, start at the very beginning. Uh, come on. <laughs> I'm coming! You flaming tired. What are you doing? I want to talk to Aaron. It's a bit late for that. Yeah, well, I'm not leaving until I've seen him. Well, he'll have a long way because he's not here. Come off it. I've not seen him all weekend. What are you on about? Tell you he's up there, Zach. He's not! Look, don't fanny about, pal. We want to see him. Oh, well, let's have it then. You think you're hard enough, man. Look, no, there's no need for that. Unless you're going to stop him seeing his mother. I've told you. He's not here. It's all right, Gordon. I'll stare to that. Never had you down as a wife, Peter. He's not. You don't have to explain to them. Well, so much for the big I am, eh? With your posh house and your... your airs and graces. You're the lowest of the low, pal. Beating up a woman. Aaron did it. <laughs> oh, why? He did. Tell him. You think it gives me any satisfaction to admit it? Found him with a bottle of sherry from the cabinet. It wasn't the first time. Well, he's hardly the first teenager to have a tip hole. Yeah, then more than likely spewed up. Am I right? It's what they call a learning curve. If that's all he'd done, we could have lived with it. Tell him. When I tried to take the bottle off him, he lost it. He totally lost it. Well, couldn't you have talked him round? Don't come here lecturing us on parenting. He hit her in the face. Your son, the one you just remembered exists, battered her. Don't have a go at me! If I had to come in, God knows what would have happened. Has he been in touch since? No. I didn't go to the police station because I thought he might teach him a lesson. Oh, great. I've been more of a mother to him than you have. Not a great one, but I've tried. Look where it got me. Well, that's as maybe. That's a fact. The difference is, pal, you have given up on him. We never give up on one of our own. No. Well, Zach and Eli are driving round town trying to see if they can spot him. I can't believe he did that to his stepmother. You didn't see her. I know when he stayed with me, he used to get straps on big style, but nothing like that. I blame myself. What's got to do with you? You've hardly seen him. Yeah, but if I was a proper dad to you, you know. What? And nothing. You reckon I might have been a better mother? You think I don't know that? Get lost! Well, it might be Aaron with his tail between his legs. Oh, you better come in. Then it's better to see you back here. There you go. Every cloud is a silver lining. How are you going? Um, can I speak to Eli, please? We're busy. Look, I was just wondering if Aaron was here. What's it got to do with you? I think he might be in some trouble. The McFarlane's use him as a gopher, doing odd jobs for him. What kind of jobs? <laughs> well, what do people like them usually use kids with bikes for? He's running errands. Drugs. What do you think? And you just stood by. He's a kid. <laughs> I don't need this. Right, right, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just need to know that he's OK. Well, I haven't seen him since Friday. I was hoping he'd come here. Yeah, well, he hasn't, has he? Anything? What are you doing here? Shut up and listen, Eli. Oh. The McFarlands know that Aaron was lifted by the police. If they think he's talked, he's, he's in big trouble. Well, they run a few scabby little clubs at the back of beyond. They're hardly the mafia. 
Well, don't think it starts and stops with the McFarlands. They're at the end of a long line of people getting fat on this. And a kid on a bike counts for nothing when it comes to covering their backs. They will do whatever it takes. Right, I've made a decision. We're going round to rattle the McFarlane's cage. You lot? Uh, no one matches with the dingle. <laughs> but you're not in their league. Uh, well, we'll see about that. I don't even know that they've got him. I just wanted to make sure he's all right. Yeah, well, we need to know for certain that he is, don't we? Well, if you see them, don't mention me. No, don't, don't just leave like this. No, I shouldn't have come. I'm sorry, you know. What does she want? She reckons our Aaron's got him bothered with the McFarlane's. Right, that's it. What are you doing? Breaking the habit of a lifetime. I'm going to phone the fuzz and tell them exactly what we know. You can't. You're going to drop Danielle right in it, aren't you? Tough! If she had come here in the first place, this would never have happened. Look, Charles. Chaz, don't do that. What else can she do? What are you playing at? Look, I think that the McFarlane's are greasing some coppers. That's Shane for one. What are you on about? Shane is working for them, isn't he, Eli? Tell him. Danielle reckons he's bent as an iron bob, not that like Shane. I always knew that he was a chore rag. We should have let Marlon batter him when he had a go at Donna. Are you sure you're not just saying this because he's sniffing around your girlfriend? Well, if you don't believe me, ring them. See where it gets you. I don't know what to do. Well, I've got an idea. Well, that's all I need. Why don't we talk to the one couple we can trust, Donna? That's not bad, that shit, eh? Well, could have reported him missing at the station. Chas said they're dragging me back here. Well, what about done? Well, if he's missing, that's what you do. I'm at the end of my rope, Donna. And be honest, right? Aaron was lifted for drugs possession. He's not going to be at the top. I've got any coppers list, is he? Look, he's probably dossing on a mate's floor till things cool off. Probably is not good enough. For all his front, he's just a boy. There's another reason why I don't want to make it official. Can I trust you? Oh, what sort of question's that? We think the McFarlane's have got Shane in the pocket. Well, that wouldn't surprise me at all. Oh, come on, Chaz. How many times has your family complained about coppers to get off the hook? No, it's a good point, that well made. Not me. Not now, especially. Why do you think Shane's involved? Because Debbie says. Oh, well, that's cut and dried then. Well, I don't know what is what, but all I do know is that my lad is missing. And it sounds to me like he's got mixed up with the McFarlane's, and I just don't know what to do. All right. OK, I'll, I'll see what I can do. You're not just fobbing me off. Would I? Thank you. I need to get back to work. Come on. You, you will let me know what you find out, won't you? Yeah. Eli! What do you reckon? I'll do what I can. As long as you don't try and tackle them at Fallon's on your own. Oh, come on, I mean Lord. it! Well, if what they're saying's right and Shane's on the take, then I can't do this officially, can I? Do you think he is? I don't know. But I can't leave Chaz stewing while I do nothing, can I? No. Just make sure you get Ross to go along with you, okay? <laughs> 